Hey, my sleepy, sleepy samurais. So today I <clears throat> got two boxes from Amazon, from my Amazon wish list. So let's see what I got. really cool star lights that I also got <clears throat> from a subscriber off of my Amazon wish list and there are like so many settings on this and I'm pretty sure you could change the color of the lights but this is the one that I chose for today so there's a couple settings where they like strobe or like they they keep lighting up one at a time or they fade on and off which I think the fade on and off one would be really cool because it's kind of like really slow but the other ones I thought were a little extreme <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think those are super neat and I'm super glad I got these um, these are from an Amazon wishlist unboxing that I did a little bit ago, it was my last one I just accidentally forgot to open this box and then I opened it today so I could try to figure out how to use it um, in my videos but when I have my setup totally done they're gonna be in the background somewhere um, I thought about maybe trying to like hang hang them from the wall or something I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I'm still slowly but surely working on getting all of my things together so I can do like a dedicated recording room and then when I get finally get back into streaming on my Twitch, um, either ASMR videos or <coughs> playing video games you know, horribly, <laughs> I still try. Um, so, I totally lost, I have a desk. I'm filling up my desk. I need to get like a, a chair for the streaming and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then, you know, I need a like higher quality, quality webcam and then, um, I don't know what else, all the other, like, necky stuff. And then I play on PlayStation. So in order to get, and I have a regular internet provider and I use their router slash modem, <clears throat> it's hard to put a VPN from what I've researched online. I have no idea. I've never done it before. It's hard to put your VPN on one of their their uh, provided router slash modems. So I have to um, have the VPN on my laptop and then plug the laptop into the PlayStation, which I also have to have the um, webcam hooked up to my laptop for me to be able to use a regular webcam with the PlayStation instead of one of the PlayStation webcams. So it's, I had to do like quite a bit of research and <laughs> to figure out how to, what's the best way and like what's, what are the best products to use a PlayStation to stream because I streamed before when I had a router where I could just put the VPN on the router and but I didn't have a webcam then 
So, you know, if I didn't want to do it with a webcam, it would be a lot easier for me to get that started more quickly. Um, and I've just, I don't know, I'm really horrible with buying stuff to make my ASMR videos and not prioritizing buying stuff to get my Twitch set up ready. Like, <laughs> th I don't know. Because, to be totally honest, I could just use my phone and stream ASMR videos for you on my phone. Um, and I pro could probably just, if you guys are trying to leave comments, I could probably just have my laptop set up and um, use my laptop to try and respond to you guys. Because when I was streaming on Twitch, my, my game plays, which, you know, that was before I started YouTube, so I didn't really have anybody who <laughs> cared to watch me play. <laughs> but anytime I'd get like a comment on my plate, I have a PS4. I haven't been able to capture a PS5 yet. Um, and I, I have never gotten into PC gaming. And I'm not, I, we, I used to have an Xbox. Um, what do, I don't know which is the one that just came out. I'm pretty sure we had the Xbox One. Not the newest one, but the second newest one. Um, and I don't know, I just always, I, I grew up watching, or playing play, PlayStation, like Crash Bandicoot on PlayStation, and Need for Speed on PlayStation, and, and we had the PlayStation One, and we didn't get... Xbox until it became more mainstream and everything like that. Um, so I I prefer PlayStation. Just keep it at that. Um, I do want to get a Nintendo Switch to try and play games on that so I can play Pokemon. Which growing up, it was always Pokemon, and now it's Pokemon. Like, what, what happened to the E? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. But yeah, so <clears throat> I don't know if you guys don't have a preference. If I just used my phone to record and live stream for you guys uh, on Twitch, I'll totally be okay with that. You guys just gotta let me know. <laughs> um. I have to get more dedicated to getting my setup together because right now I have this little nook in my bedroom and it's not super fancy but I get to give you guys content um, and I get to use the natural light. The other room that has been dedicated as my gaming room, that one only has one um window and it's on the other side of the house which is very shaded and I prefer using the natural light when I make the videos but I have also purchased the lighting items necessary to do the lower lit maybe that's what I'll do if I want to make natural light videos, I'll come in here, and then if I want to make regular little light videos, I'll go on there. So, and the other weird thing about this house is the air conditioner is older, and it, it's so loud. Like, literally, to be able f to record any videos, I have to turn it off. Otherwise, you could, the microphone picks it up, and it's just super annoying. And my recording room is right next to where the air conditioner unit is, so it's like, it doesn't bother me any. Um, but the other person I live with, it bothers them. <laughs> um, 
So yeah. But yeah, so these are the lights. That's all chit chat about my setup dilemmas. But yeah, I, I got oops. I got the um a ring light and then I got those cool color changing floodlights so I could do the colored backgrounds too. Um and then I still have that amazing tapestry. Um, that one of my subscribers, I'm pretty sure his name was Chase, or their name was Chase, um, purchased for me the black with the mountains and everything on the back. I'm gonna use that. Um, I've tried thinking about how I can use it now, here. I, I don't have anything to hold it, like, up. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, because like this setup is that I have right now is on an angle. It's not a flat wall, because if it was a flat wall, I would have just hung it up. Um, but yeah, let's open the packages. Let me get another peach O. It says enjoy your gift. Not sure, I thought it was puzzles. Guess it's a surprise, let me know. From Mason. Well, thank you very much, Mason. Oh, it's a diamond painting kit. So I, I found this a long time ago. Whenever I put them on my Amazon list. And then I recently saw girls who all they do is make videos doing these and I'm like what? <laughs> it's so weird people that go viral for like the simplest thing yeah so I'm really glad you got this for me because now I have all these little baggies <laughs> I think it's for the loose and then I'm not really sure what these are for. It says no, if you do not, do not received enough beads, please click our store name and ask a question to contact us and we will send you again for free. So it's kind of like a, a paint by number thing, um, but with these like little plastic diamond beads. Um, so step one, ready the tools. Uh, step two, use the pen to take some glue at the top. Step three, put one color of drills into a plate, shake a few times. Use the pen to stick the drill. I'm guessing they mean the diamond things. Open the protective film and stick the drill on the canvas. Stick drills according to number and graphics of the color. Step seven, the glue on the canvas can firmly hold the drills. Step four, when finished, please press the canvas under a book to make the drills flat and firm. So yeah, I thought these the ones that came in here were really cool. Um, and I will definitely be making videos with these. I don't want to totally get crazy opening if I don't want to lose. Yeah, it's like literally called diamond painting, which I think is so cool. Um, and 
I'm so glad you got this for me too because now I can use my desk uh, before I get all of my Twitch setup stuff ready. Because if you never noticed this in my earlier videos, that small table I was using is a nightstand. <laughs> And I still have that. Literally, it's sitting right here. Um, so, now I have a big, long, I think it's a 63 inch desk. I got the biggest one that I could possibly fit in the area because I wanted a big, long desk. And where I put the desk, you can't do like an L or anything. So, I opted for a longer single piece than two smaller pieces that make an L. I don't want to do two smaller desks and try to put them together and I just did it this way. And then I was also also thinking about getting a... I had one before in my apartment when I lived in Illinois, but when I moved, um, we threw it away for some unknown reason. And, um, now I'm looking at Ikea and getting, like, one of like, really big one for the cube storage with the cubbies, because I, I love those. I want to, I'm not sure if I want to put it in here and then put, like, a regular taller shelving unit in my recording room for that to be in the background and for... Um, all of my figurines and stuff to go up in there because I I recently started purchasing uh, Funko Pops again because <laughs> um, and I I haven't decided yet if I want I'm pretty sure I want to do a cube unit in here regardless. And, you know, I was thinking about putting it here and then getting rid of this nightstand that's right here because my microphone arm sits on the nightstand. I would just get a different microphone set up if it came to that or just reorientate how I have it set up. But, which wouldn't be too hard. So then I have more space and the cube unit is in the background if I ever decide to film in here. Or I thought about putting it back there. But I don't know. Um, because if I put the cube unit here, I'll re-angle the camera so you'll just see the cube unit. Well, and me too, but, <laughs> um, so that would pretty much be the background. Well, I don't know. I think it depends on how close it, it goes to the wall, because if I put it back there, right, a little bit farther over this way, is the edge of my bed, and it's not going to be a whole lot of walk space. And I'm also thinking about... I don't know if you get that cor this corner right here. I want to get one of those big mirrors and just lean it up against the corner. So then I have one of those big full length mirrors in the corner. So yeah, it's a lot of ideas. <laughs> and, um, for the other room, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the cube unit or the, the shelves. So, like a shelving unit, not the shelves that hang against the wall because I don't, the less holes we need to fill when we leave is better. <laughs> I don't want to have to patch up the walls a whole lot. Um, so yeah, this one's really cool. It has something to do with the moon. It's rainbow color, but yeah, it has... all these different colors and oh it, that is how many there are so it looks like 
gives you... Why are some of them letters? Maybe so, uh, it's not double digits? But then it's like, not alphabetical. Maybe when they were coming up with a, a color is in the coding system, they picked certain colors to be certain letters. They didn't do it per sheet or per graphic. They just did it in general because it goes from nine to A, Y, N. Um, that also doesn't make sense either. Because I feel like these wouldn't be chronological either. Or not chron- No. Is it chronological order even in those numbers? Yes. Alphabetical order. Yeah. <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm super excited to get into doing these. Um, yeah, I'm super, like, these things, like, I'll probably go to the extent of, like, framing them when I'm done and then hanging them up on them all, like, I just think these are so cool. I'm so happy that so many purchased these for me and enjoys my content enough to gift me something. <laughs> I'm so grateful for all of my subscribers. Just not really sure what these stickies are, but I'm sure I will find out. These stickies is what I'm talking about. And now for the box. Let's see what's in the box. Ow. <gasps> this is from Mason too. All of this is from Mason. <gasps> you are so amazing. Okay, enjoy your gift. I noticed you wanted some kitchen gadgets. I really like these. May, uh, may ASMR material too from Mason. Yeah. Um, I oh, enjoy your gift. Found your channel recently and I'm blown away by your style of ASMR. You deserve to be compensated for all you do. These gifts are just a token of my appreciation. Why, thank you so much. <laughs> I can't believe you bought all this stuff for me. Oh, you got the, the watercolor paint set in a watercolor book? Oh. So I, when, Okay, so for the kitchen gadgets, it's this one. I saw a really cool... When I put this on my wish list, I had seen a really cool ASMR video um, where they sliced up random stuff using this. And I thought it was super cool, and I really wish I, I remember the channel because maybe when I make the video, I'll find the channel and I'll link it because I always try to do that. Whoever inspired me to make the video, I always try to um, mention them or include their info in my description box. Uh, so you guys also can enjoy where I got the inspiration from because I don't totally think it's fair to like rip off somebody's idea and then like, which, it's not really, I was inspired by them. I'm not going to do exactly what they did. I would think, I think that's ripping them off. Um, 
but I wouldn't think it's fair to like take inspiration from somebody and then not really give them credit um, if I was inspired by like a specific video if I was inspired by a certain trigger in general then that's there's that like <laughs> like like fabric scratching like yeah I don't know like that's every uh, like everybody doesn't know <laughs> like I don't know but yeah and then the uh, this was the uh, uh, enjoy your gift, something you can use personally or on a video, which is the everyday watercolor learn to paint watercolor in 30 days. And I'll have to try and find the video for this one as well because I was inspired by a specific video. Um, I was by, inspired by a specific video um, when I put all of these watercolor items on my Amazon wish list. And this is a cute little book guide on how to do watercolor. Well, I did not realize that these two packages were from the same person. <laughs> Which is crazy. Uh, this one was the. Uh, token of my appreciation note and this is the Harry Potter origami which I think is so freaking cute because I love origami Tobichi origami too cute little origamis that I can make I can make a cute little head wig I got the Cool papers in here too to do the different origamis with. You can't see. Yes. And they tell you which one to use it with. Ooh, they give you the dragon Chinese fireball. What is the one that Harry Potter had to go against? The Ukrainian Iron Belly. Didn't he have to go the Norwegian Ridge bag? Didn't he have to go against like the meanest one? Firebolt broomstick. Chocolate fog. They have chocolate frogs at Barnes and Noble. And I'm always tempted. Well not always because I barely go in there. Not less than I book to. Um, oh, you can do the chocolate frog box and build your chocolate frog. That's so cute. Um, this is the bottom. I go in there a lot less than I'd like to, but the one that's closest to me, they have some of the Harry Potter treats there. Related well, last time I was there. I was tempted on getting the frog, but I didn't. Pretty sure it was the frog and the jelly beans. Uh, enjoy your gift. You'll need these for your book. I got pens and paints, so you have options. Well, thank you very much. I get to do all these cool things. You know, growing up, you know, you had watercolors when you're in elementary class. I never knew, like, that watercolor color was, like, an actual, like, major art form until I got older, which I think is so insane. What people can create with, whoops, what people can create with, um, watercolors. And these are the pens. Like, I literally watched a woman 
spill like red wine on a canvas and like created like a whole like masterpiece out of it just by using different concentrations of the wine and like people who make beautiful artwork using like coffee yeah. Y'all are crazy. Too. And like a thank you note. I don't know what this other stuff is. I don't want to take it all apart. It's just some paper to doodle on. really bright orange. This one you can see like straight up through the plastic. Oh, these are so pretty. I'm trying to open it as nicely as possible so it doesn't make a lot of really loud crinkling. Enjoy your gift, more brush pens, you can never have enough, which I agree. Oh, I think I did these in the wrong order. Maybe these were the ones that I just did. Watercolor paint box. Doesn't really tell me the brand. So I don't know. But either way, got this really cool item too. Nope, this is 36 colors. The name is throwing me off. Sometimes this is why I hate nails, I can't do anything. I didn't want to really like bite it, bite it with my teeth. Because I hate to do that. Whoop. 
This is so cool. Uh, these are not in English. The only thing I could read is refillable. This must be the pen. Slash paintbrush. Gonna be so cool, and it comes with paper too. The thing, this is a thing of paper. And then this shows you all the colors, which I'm pretty sure I just said. <laughs> And then let's see, I thought that was a brush, but that little box, but we're going to see what it actually is. Oh, they're pens and a pencil. Oh, no, they're like the, the refillable paintbrush pens. These two are, and this is a pencil. Oh, this is so cool. So I put the water in here, and then dip it in the pink color that you want. Gonna be able to make cool content for you guys using all this stuff. Oh man, I cannot believe you bought all this stuff for me. <laughs> yeah, this this last one is the <laughs> enjoy your gift. Hope it fits and it's not too cheesy. Yeah. I recently accumulated a whole bunch of wigs to try to do stuff with. I'm not going to put it on a camera because I feel really so conscious doing that. But I will show you a very majestic purple wig. I have another color from the same brand. It doesn't feel horrible. It doesn't smell bad either. I see cute little bangs. They might be a little long. I can't remember if it was a straight across bang or a side bang. It's a straight across bang. If they're a little too long, I'll just trim them up. Well, I just thought these colors were so cute. It's colors that I love anyway. Girl, you should just like me. So excited about this and all my other super cool stuff. And I appreciate you so much, Mason, for getting me all these items and enjoying my content. So much that you decided to buy me these items. <laughs> oh man. Sometimes it's so crazy to have like people that actually like you for the stuff you make. <laughs> I don't know what you do. It's, it's always so weird.
Well, this was super awesome. I cannot wait to start making content using the items that you purchased for me. Um, it's gonna be pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, and I'm at, like, this still blows my mind that people like me. <laughs> and the videos I make and everything, it just, uh. <laughs> but yeah, so I really appreciate you and the things you purchased for me, Mason. Um, I just, like I said, I can't believe <laughs> you like my videos enough to buy all this stuff for me to use, to make more content with. Um, my sleepy, sleepy samurais. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you in some way, either reduce stress anxiety, or maybe you're even asleep with a short little nap. And if you're asleep, I want you to know that I appreciate you. And if you're awake and you made it to this point in the video, you are amazing. Well guys, I'm glad we got to spend this time together and I hope we get to do it again really, really soon. Thanks. Bye.